Hello, it is Bethany from the Everyday Army Wife, and today I thought I would kind of give you a quick sneak peek inside the new Science K for Sunlight. They just released it, and a lot of people will be using it this year. They released it in April, and everybody is just now getting all of their pre-ordered Science Kits in. So this year, um, Science K covers ecosystems, meteorology, physics, and engineering and design. So it kind of gives the kids a very broad introduction to many topics and then they cycle back to them as years to come. So this year you're just kind of planting a seed. So let's kind of take a quick look. I will kind of open up some of the books and give you an idea as to what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the first week looks like in your instructor guide. It'll kind of tell you up at the top that it, you are on the first week of Level K Science, and if you are having to keep records, you can put the dates that you will be doing it. And then on the left-hand side, it tells you what books you're going to need this week and what days of the week you're going to need them. So for the first day, you would just pull out ants and you would read pages three to five, and then you're gonna only do questions one through three on their activity sheet. And so, in their instructor guide, here is, here's the answers to the activity sheet. And then their first activity sheet, here's activity one, two, and then on the back side is three. And so that's all they would do for day one. And then you have an, uh, like, so this is grayed out and so you have this is just an extra activity you can do all together. And then down here at the bottom will be discussion questions and things for the teacher to, to read. Here's going to tell you some of the things you're going to need this week for your science experiments. And then these are the things that come in the science kit with all of your curriculum. And then these are the things that you are going to need next week. So that's kind of nice, it gives you a heads up. A lot of the stuff that you need to provide, you probably already have in your house, but it's good to kind of check for the following week just to make sure if you need to run and grab those. Okay, so this is the first book. None of these are in any special order. So the first one is Ants, and this is an Usborne book. And these are the beginner readers. And it kind of just goes through all of the ants and it tells some different topics about them, like how they find their food, how they grow up, how they keep safe. And so you'll kind of go through that during your ants part of the curriculum. And then the next one is in the same series and it's about bees and wasps. I like the Usborne books because they have just little small facts and it doesn't really overwhelm the child too much. And the books are so pretty and so nicely done. And as a homeschooler, you can decide how much more you want to add to this. So here we're going to do rainforests. And if your kids are really interested in it, then you could just dive a little deeper, maybe get on YouTube and find some more videos. And then here's the next one on reptiles. I love all the pictures and graphics. It really goes over quite a bit about each topic. And then the last one is on weather. And then this one is from seed to plant. And it really kind of just goes over the process of a plant and how it grows. Again, just little bite-sized pieces of information. So you're not, you're not looking for your child to have mastery on these. It's just an introduction. Inside a hurricane. And some of these you might even be able to find, again, like Magic School Bus might have an episode about this. So you might be able to add that to your day as well. Why do elephants need the sun? Forces make things move. Why 
Wangari's Tree of Peace in the True Story of Africa. I was really excited about this one. This one is the DK Find Out Science. It covers so many topics, but it doesn't go really deep into them. So it's a great introductory book, I think, for this age. Tons of fun experiments that you could do as well. And then the National Geographic Kids, Little Kids First Big Book of Why. And again, the pictures are really colorful. The pages are really intriguing. So I think the kids are going to love just flipping through this, even not on the specific subjects we're covering. My kids all love the big National Geographic books. And then this is the Discover and Do Science. This is in replace of the DVDs that used to come in the course. So the Science does, Science K does not have the DVDs. Instead, it comes with this book. And it is, I am so excited to do this this year. There's so many different experiments throughout this book. And it kind of tells you the materials you're gonna need, the topics you're gonna cover, the key, it tells you the key concepts for this lesson. And then it walks you through the experiments. I don't know, I think my kids are just really going to have a lot of fun. It, it looks like there's a lot of really fun experiments in here. And that concludes the flip through of Science K. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I plan to do a couple more videos on how we're going to kick off this year to include how I have organized my instructor guide and how I'm going to keep us on track this year.